No chill, no filter. Okay, y'all. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin', and what is poppin' again? I'm on my old man time down here with my glasses on, with my, what we call, peoples. Gotta put my peoples on. Y'all gotta excuse me. Because, um, it's like ten battles that I am about to do a prediction on and I'm hoping everybody show up and I mean that I'm really needing everybody to show up shout out my man G Gray once again putting on for the meal let me take these off man once again putting on for the meal doing what it is that he do best UBL can you say UBL Battle League seeing as how BL stands for Battle League oh, oh. UBL Battle League um, Underground Battle League, my man G Gray putting on once again, and he is on the card. That's what's up. Um, I don't know if I want to start from the top to the bottom, or from you know what I'm going. I'm gonna start from the bottom, man. And that is Shooter versus Chris Nitty. First time I saw Chris Nitty. Chris Nitty battled. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Chris Nitty battled Young Ruffin. That was that was a dope that was a dope battle. As a matter of fact, it should be dropping here in a minute since I see I'm seeing all these other battles dropping. Buck versus Emery Forbes, that dropped. Um, of course, I got Buck all day. I'm pretty sure everybody do. Um, I did see the uh, Shadow the Serious versus Catboy Hurt. If y'all saw that battle, could y'all let me know who actually won that battle? Um, because of the um, the lack of democracy. I wanna, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a decline to, to put a ruling on that or, or put a judgment on that because for some reason, you know, we say this is an opinionated, uh, sport, sport, is, can we call it that? I don't know. You have to, I don't know. But they said this is a, a, a opinionated, um, situation here. So, if it's so opinionated, why is it every time somebody gives their opinion, they got to get backlash on it? There are these things called fans, and there's this other thing called being hot. So if you hot, you're going to get fans. If you not, you're going to get, I would say that other word, but I'm not on that tonight. But yeah, you, you're you not going to get what it is that you're looking for. And I'm not saying either way who won here or there or <clears throat> who's doing what or who did what. I'm just saying if y'all saw the battle between... Shadow and Catboy Hurt. Comment below who y'all think won that. I just want to know. I just, I just want to know because I want to, I want to see what y'all opinion is. I want to see what y'all opinion is of the battle between uh, Shadow the Serious and Catboy Hurt. I like the battle, mm -hmm. and I liked, I liked uh, Catboy in that battle. And I ain't saying who won or whatever, but Catboy. Um, okay, I'm done. I'm done with that. Okay, so back to the uh, retribution is what I think it is if my memory serves me correctly. Yes, 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 yes. And you know, it's live stream available on this thing too. Man, my boy is doing it, man. That's what's up, man. Hey, look, I'm going to put it to you like this here. To you guys, man, that's actually doing it, doing it, man. And like, y'all, y'all, y'all forging ahead, man. And I see your progress. Trust me, I see it. I'm loving it. And I'm definitely on board with it, man. And I'm not saying on board like as far as what these other people's be meaning you know what i mean i mean i'm on board i'm supporting your movement man 100 percent. so with that being said man let's just go and jump into it man i was talking about shooter versus chris nitty chris nitty is going to come through barking shooter i already know you got it up in you fam so i'm gonna edge that over to you i am seven versus jay savage jay savage is he, you know, he stumbled a couple times uh, when he battled, but for the most part, I got Jay Savage in that one. I got Jay Savage over uh, I Am Seven. <laughs> what a name. Emery Forbes versus King Leo. Emery Forbes, um, you know, your battle just dropped with uh, Buck. You're going to have to, you know, I mean, if you can, you know, come through with a stellar performance. And uh, you might can pull this off versus King Leo. G Gray versus Vex. I'm honestly like, it's a lot of stuff that be happening. And I be thinking to myself, dude, how did that happen? What was, okay, you know, G Gray easy, but Vex the Smut King, he will, he, he, 
how do I how do I say this? Like even in the battle versus uh, Hoodlum with Vex and Hoodlum, I I I just like the I like Vex's his 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 confidence, and, and not only did he have confidence, he had bars, but his bars is different, and for some reason he pushed the hell out of Hoodlum Pen. I don't know why, I don't know why Hoodlum like put the over overkill on it like that. But either way it go, you know. I think it was I think it was necessary because Vex the Smut King is he is he, he is lyrical. Um so all I'm gonna say about that is G Gray, you got your work cut out for you, man. But I got you winning. I got you winning that easy. Uh Buck versus PT Buck, your battle drop and you had a couple you done had a couple battles, man, that just done had me like yeah. mm -hmm. Uncle Buck in the house, man. I got dog. Uh, Killing PT. Period. That's it on that one, man. And here we go with this name again. Why is y'all study lyrics? Okay, lyrics versus human. Is that human? That's your name, human. So it's gonna be lyric dude versus human. Okay, lyrics. Why do I always just not want to say that? I don't. I'm not understanding this dude's name. I'm not. Okay, let's lyriscologist. Is that it versus human? Um, I'm gonna throw that up in the air because honestly, I've heard lyrics. Lyrics. Look, I know how to read too. As a matter of fact, I'm a grammatical Nazi. Okay, so don't think that you know I'm stumbling over words because I don't know how to read I know how to read you know what I mean it's just this name is just irritating to my soul versus human um so I, I it could go either way I'm just gonna put it like that uh Jay Lopez versus Zy Prem versus Ray Chris is going to be very very interesting that's gonna be one of the battles that that's gonna be of the night that everybody gotta see because it's got like a huge variety I want to say but if I was a gambling man I would definitely have J Lopez over 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 those two G Lo versus BMB Mike G come on man come on come on talk to me man talk to me BMB Mike G man look check this out every battle Every time you come through, you already know it's 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 something different. I'm following you. I'm 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 checking for you, and that's the reason why I got you taking this battle. Cause your last performance, the one that I saw anyway, um, you definitely proved that. Yeah, fam, you you was definitely on your job for real. So, G Lo versus B and B Mike G. I got B and B Mike G. I like G Lo name because it's on Facebook and it's, it's his real name. So he like, you know what? I ain't finna change my name to you know, Dig Master Dergler or whatever. <laughs> and then gotta look for the man on Facebook. G Lo, G Lo is his name. Okay, G Lo versus B and B Mike G. I got B and B Mike G. Um, taking that. Chef Trez versus True Foe. We need both of y'all to show up. True Foe, this is a good look for you. For real. Um, you another one, man. You another one that's coming up for real. And I'm pretty sure that everybody is seeing this. Everybody is checking you out, fam. Everybody is really checking for you right now. You're doing your thing. And you know, you was definitely on the same stage as some as some monsters. So I mean, this here is definitely a good look for you, man. And you, the main event, you on the overcard, you is, you done came up. I'm not going to even ask how it happened, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been seeing your work. So, Chef Trez versus True Foe. Hmm. I just need y'all to show up, man. But if I, if I had to, if I had to pick one. Mm, mm, mm. True foe, you once again, you another one, man. That like every performance is better. Every performance is better than the last. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a have you winning that. I'm, a, I'm gonna edge that over to you. It's not gonna be like a clear, solid win, but it's gonna. I think it's gonna be a W, man. If you, if you, if you ask me, if you want my opinion on that, and that's what it is, an opinion. That's what I was talking about as far as what was going on. You got opinion, you got bias, and you got facts. What I want to know is when is it opinion? When is it bias? And when is it facts? I get it. I know what it is. See, it's an opinion when you win. It's bias when you lose. And nothing is based on facts. Is that what it is? I think so. Because it seems like it's become a dictatorship 
instead of a democracy. You can say, hey, man, who you think won that battle? Ah, oh, man, he, he beat you. Oh, man, come on, man. You bogus, man. No, no, dog. He didn't beat me. He didn't. How you gonna how you gonna sway somebody by telling them that you won? It's gonna be in your performance. It's it's got to be based on facts. But like I said, you know, everybody says that this is uh what we're doing is opinionated, man, but it seems like every time somebody gives their opinion, it's bias. And that's about the only thing about this whole situation, it's a fact. Okay? So, like I said, man, I, I don't I'm really starting it's really kinda I'm it's diluting it's diluting the meanings of these three words opinion bias facts now if i say this dude right here i'm gonna effectively fuck this nigga up who the fuck you thought you could get two to the gut a three round burst chest head gut no nah, let me go back face chest gut i don't give a fuck what you know who you know i kick in your door and let them foes split you and your bitch will be simultaneously hit yo i'm on that other illmatic shit can smash this dude right here Hey, they say I'm next up, mama. I can't let that shit get to my head. I'm already late. I couldn't keep cook off the ledge. I'm already late. They shouldn't have never called sin in his bed. I'm already late. I should have never had a gun in my head. I need to meditate. Mm, bah. Premeditate. He ain't from the hood. Let's go. He ain't from the hood, but still get his section. But niggas already know. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, man. That is an opinion. But it's definitely biased and it's not based on facts because I must be related to the first dude by blood. And I mean that to say that he can kill him. You know what I mean? So with that being said, man, this your big homie MC Ronski. Think about that, man. Next time y'all have a battle, man, and ask, us, ask somebody, um, hey, man, who you think won this battle? What you do is give them a script since you want them to, you know, you want them to say what you want them to say. Give them the script. You know what I mean? Hey, check this out. Before I ask you this question, can you read that off for me, please? Hey, man, you the greatest, man. Yep, you won. Okay, yep. Can you say that after I ask you this question? Yeah, I can say that after, after you ask me that question. Cool. All right, man, who you think won, man? Oh, man, you the greatest, man. You won. If you want that answer, that's exactly what you're going to have to do. Otherwise, man, if you walk up on somebody and just say, hey, out of the clear blue, hey, dude, do you think I won? And that person say, no. Be graceful about it, man. That is a random fan of battle rap, and they 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 like bars. Unless if it's somebody who this person knows or whatever, then how you gonna win against that? You're not finna sit up there and turn him against this guy or whatever. Once again, that's neither here nor there. I stand alone. I'm gonna judge off um, opinion based off facts. Okay, that's that. So with that being said, man, this your big homie MC Ronski, and it's been no chill, no filter TV prediction vlog for the Retribution battle event. Oh man, did I even mention the the address? I'm pretty sure it's going to be at the barber shop, but just in case, let's check it out. Um, uh oh, you know we gonna have to talk about this G Gray because these words is too doggone small, man. Okay. Yep, $15 tickets are available on event. Is that? I'm telling y'all, I can read. I just can't see this stuff. Don't don't go to tripping. Event, man, look. Eventbrite.com, there it is. Eventbrite.com. Um, it is uh, hosted by Norbs and Lady Loyalty. Look, Norbs. My man, dog, I appreciate what you're doing too, man. And yep, it is at the barbershop, 3607 North MLK Jr. Drive, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53212, man. I look forward to seeing y'all there, man. Once again, it's your big homie MC Ron Ski. And I'm finna test this right fast before I, before I let y'all go. But like, lemon tea. Can y'all see that? I don't know, y'all. All right, I've never had this before, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna taste it. Just to check it out. Hmm. Wish me luck. <clears throat> and I bought a whole 12 pack. I am baffled. Yes. for you, hate so I pray. Ass niggas try. You say if you catch me slipping at the club.